What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll show you how to draw a cartoon illustration of the Grim Reaper. Let's begin T's lesson in the center of the page and draw two lines across the top of the eyes. We'll leave a gap in the center. Let's start with the one on the left. Draw a straight line going all the way across. Let's leave a gap and do the same thing over towards the right. Let's curl up the inside of the brow, come in and up with two short curves. Now we connect the outside to the inside of that line with a curve, coming down almost like a half circle, and pull that up on the inside. Let's add a thick edge along the outside of the eye. So we're going to step in, come down, and just bend that in towards the bottom of the eye. And we'll fill the inside of the eyes in black. Let's go in between the eyes and draw a small triangle for the nose, coming down on the sides, flatten off the bottom, and we'll fill the inside. Now you want to pull the hood down on top of the head. So from the left side, I'm going to step out, curve this up, and into right about there. Now we're going to add a notch with an upside down V. Continue that curve going all the way across towards the right, and we'll bend that down. Let's tuck the cheeks in underneath the edge of the hood. So we step up, bend this down around the eyes, and pull that up. Let's add the teeth across the center. Starting on the left, come down, and then up. Do the same thing on the right. Let's add two more teeth in the middle. Coming down and up, and then we'll add one more. Now I want to wrap the hood in behind the head. So on the left side, just curve this around and then bend that in underneath the cheeks. Now from the outside of the hood, let's step out, bend this down, and then in just beside the teeth. Now I'm going to work our way up towards the top of the hood. On the left side, round this out, go up and then in towards the center. Now on the right side, we just want to tuck this in underneath. So we're going to go around and just pull that into right about there. Let's flop the hood on the right side. Round up the top, and down the side, bend this out and then up, and we'll just tuck this in towards the side of the head. Now let's draw on the side of the body. On the left side, just underneath the hood, leave a gap, bend this out and then down towards the bottom. Now I'm going to go underneath the head on the right side, step out, bend this out, and it will stop a little bit higher than the line on the left. Let's round up the top of the body, come down, past the right side, and then up. Bend this out and up. I'm going to pull this back in towards the side of the body, come down, and bend that in towards the side. Now we're going to extend the arm holding the large staff. Let's start underneath the hood, draw a straight line going out towards the wrist, and we'll draw a thumb with an elbow. Going all the way around, come down, and then back up. Let's wrap three fingers along the outside. Start from the side of the thumb with a half oval, going out and then in. Step down, draw that again. Pull that up underneath the thumb, and we'll do that one more time. Let's separate each of these fingers with a curve out towards the left. Now let's place the staff in behind the hand. On top of the finger on the outside, draw a straight line going all the way up to right about there. And I want to continue this line underneath the hand, coming down, just lining up with the bottom of the body. Let's step in, draw that again, coming down in behind the thumb, continue along the bottom, and close off the bottom with a curve. Go up to the top and go up and then down. Let's go to the inside of the thumb and draw the edge of the cuff. I'm going to come down, round at the bottom, and just pull that up in behind the staff. Now from the bottom of the curve, bend the arm coming in and then up towards the body. Now inside, we're just going to close off the palm with a curve. Now at the very top of our staff, we're going to draw an oval going around and then back 
in, and then from the side of our oval, draw two straight lines going all the way up toward the top. Let's close off the top with a curve. Now I'm going to line up these two lines on the side on the top, going up with the two short lines, and then round out the top. Now we're going to draw the blade going across the top of the head. From the bottom, going up, just up above the head, and then bend that down. Let's go up to the top, going up, I'm just going to taper this down towards a point. Now we're going to add a seam across the edge of the blade. Just going in between and now toward the point. Now on the right side, we're going to have the arm inside the pocket. Start on the outside, then it's up and then in. Step back, then the arm going out and then up, leaving a gap on the outside. Now we're going to draw a straight line coming down the center of the cloak. And then we'll sign our art and add a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. There's a cartoon illustration of the Grim Reaper. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single week. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.